This guideline extract says that the nurse in charge must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard, should make sure that all ward cupboard keys are kept together, can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another ward, medicine cupboard keys. The keys for the controlled drug cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge. They may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. If the keys for the controlled drug cupboard go missing, the locks must be changed and pharmacy informed, and an incident form completed. The controlled drug cupboard keys should be kept separately from the main body of keys. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, the keys should not leave the ward or department. If necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there. This guideline extract says that the nurse in charge must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard, should make sure that all ward cupboard keys are kept together, can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another ward, medicine cupboard keys. The keys for the controlled drug cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge. They may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. If the keys for the controlled drug cupboard go missing, the locks must be changed and pharmacy informed, and an incident form completed. The controlled drug cupboard keys should be kept separately from the main body of keys. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, the keys should not leave the ward or department. If necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there.